So in this video, I'm going to be breaking down our blocks drawer of our block section for our user interface in App Inventor 2. So the first question we want to ask ourselves is how do we get to the blocks drawer? Well, the way we get to our blocks drawer is if we have a project open in App Inventor 2, we're going to go to the top right and we'll notice that there is a button that says blocks. We're going to go ahead and click on that and that's how we get to our block section. So now where exactly is our blocks drawer, right? Our blocks drawer is this section right here, right off to the left. So our block drawer is broken down into two categories. We have our built-in section and then our component specific sp section, excuse me. So anything under this built-in section right here, that's control, logic, math, etc., all the way up to procedures is our built-in section. Our component specific section is anything under screen one right here. So that would be label, hello, all that good stuff. So I'm going to go over the built-in section first. Our built-in section essentially allows us to grab blocks relating to the general behavior of the title. So what I mean by that is if we wanted blocks pertaining to, let's say, math, we would go over here to our built-in section and we'd click on math, right? That makes sense. We'll click on that and then we'll have a drawer appear to the right. And then we can scroll up or down in that drawer depending on which blocks we want. But you'll notice in this drawer, all these blocks are pertaining to math in some form or another, right? We have a plus, a minus, a multiplication, a division, all that good stuff, right? So let's just say for another example, let's just say we want blocks only pertaining to text. Well, you probably have a pretty good idea of where those are, right? Under this text section. So I'm gonna click on that, and you'll notice when we do click on it, it is highlighted in green. You'll notice all of these relate to text in some form or another. So like the length of the text, we can compare text, we can get the uppercase of text, all that good stuff. So that's the built-in section. Our component specific section essentially allows us to select a component that we have in our other section, our designer section, and get blocks specific to that type of component. So for example, and this is, it gets a little hairy, but don't worry. It'll all be figured out in time here, okay? So for example, if I were to click on this hello right here, this is a button and it's denoted by this icon. So buttons look like this. You'll notice that my blocks drawer now is populated with blocks that pertain to a button. So for example, it says when clicked. So that makes sense, right? When this button is clicked, we can do something, right? And if I were to select any of these other buttons, it would give me the same type of blocks, but it would be specific to that block. Also, if I were to click on this label, you'll notice we don't have the same kind of block pop up, right? Because they're component specific. So our label component has different blocks than let's say our button component. And also I could even click on this screen component and that has separate components as well, right? Or separate blocks, I should say. So where exactly do these blocks come from, right? Where exactly do we find this hello, how are you? Well, if I click on my designer section at the top left, you'll notice those blocks come from whichever ones I dragged in, right? I have this hello, how are you? These are all buttons I pulled in. And you'll notice if I were to grab, let's say another, another block, and let's say I'm gonna grab a checkbox, or rather, another component, I should say, not block, excuse me. If I were to grab a checkbox component, drag and drop it in here, you'll notice when I go to my block section, my block drawer now has a checkbox component, right? And it has blocks appropriate to that checkbox. So it says when checkbox changed, right? That makes sense. When our checkbox changes from, you know, an on or an off. So that is our blocks drawer. I hope that makes sense to you. In the next video, I'll be going over our blocks viewer.